by means of this documentary video material, let me draw your attention to some important steps while unloading a hermetically sealed CBRN protective suit. Operators of squad just returned from a training patrol of one and a half hour in his Zodiac suit. Since an external contamination of the material can be ruled out, the soldier unloads the equipment on his own. In doing so, however, he observes the safest way following, as trained to repeatedly, an exact plan. This is to keep up his body and vital protection through the hermetically sealed suit and respirator as long as possible. First, he sets off the combat helmet. Then he can unload from his combat backpack, without the risk of straps of the backpack getting caught on the helmet's edges and his head. This is followed by doffing the splinter-proof flak jacket and other small external pieces of gear. While Zid Squad is breaking the up to now hermetically sealed Zodiac Ensemble by removing the gas-tight rubber gloves, careful evaluators will mention the important amount of sweat accumulated only inside both sleeves of the suit. We can see the liquid pour out as a flush out of both cuffs. We must remember only the smallest part of sweat produced by the operator during his patrol has accumulated along his arms, most of the sweat has been oozed along his body and did accumulate in the boots attached to the suit. The operator now opens the wrap closure around his waistline which serves as the hermetic seal between the pants and the top of the zodiac suit. It's only now, after separating the two parts of his protective suit and unloading all external equipment, that Zed Squad unscrews the filter from his gas mask. Up to this moment he could be sure the filter would protect him from any hazardous dust raised while handling the rest of his heavy equipment. Having removed the filter from his mask, the operator can pull off the top of the Zodiac suit keeping the gas mask itself attached to his head.